Okay, thank you very much for clicking on. Imagine turning £50 into £1,000 just by spotting hidden treasures, gems, car boot sale, charity shop, antique centre, antique fair, doesn't matter. Today's video I'm revealing my latest antiques haul and it is a cracking haul. It contains some really rare pieces, Moorcroft, Waterford, there's some stunning stuff to come. Stay tuned to discover the secrets behind these valuable items. I share some expert tips on identifying these collectibles and see how you can make a fortune from thrift shopping. You won't believe the mistakes some sellers make. So stick around, don't miss out on today's video and don't miss out on a huge profit. So should we get started in today's video? I'm going to start off with the promise in the thumbnail which is the Moorcroft lamp. But believe me, the video is packed with absolutely amazing buys. So, if I come all the way down here, this is a photograph of a lamp in an antique centre. And they had £18 on it. And I had a look at it. Couldn't see no Micah's marks, nothing. And I thought, is it Moorcroft? Is it all tucked in with? There's half a dozen different people do this tube line decoration. And I thought, I'll take a chance. So here's the lamp listed on my website. Look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. What a weird sort of pattern this is here. Uh, beautiful thing. Now I took the base off. So here's a tip for you. If you've got a Moorcroft lamp or a suspected Moorcroft lamp, they mark it under the base. You still have to take the lamp apart to find the Moorcroft signature. So you can see there, it's Moorcroft, made in England, 1997, and I can tell you now the pattern is Flame of the Forest. But as you can see, I had to dismantle the entire lamp to find the signature. So I bought it on a gamble. Well, it wasn't a gamble at £18, was it? But I bought it on a gamble, and I thought, is it, isn't it? I thought, I absolutely love it. I thought, I'm buying it. Let me share with you just how big this lamp is. Oh. It is a nice size lamp. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I had to dismantle it. So to take these apart, you just undo the nut in there, take the the wire screws that are holding the wire in place, take the base off, and it's just a bar that runs all the way through. And then the signature is on underneath this. So if you've got any lamps and you can't find a mark, it doesn't mean they're not more croft. I think the seller may have thought it was all tucked in way or something like that. Um it was bought out of an antique centre, and believe me, I've made plenty of mistakes like that. It is so common. Um, you just, it's a bit of luck. So I'm not going to run the cellar down at all, because believe me, I've made worse mistakes than that. I really have. Uh, but yeah, beautiful Moorcroft table lamp for £18. Let's take a look at what I'm asking. So let's look at the pictures first. Look at that. It looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Like A bit like a ghost. But it's pattern is flame of the forest. It's a big, big lamp. And with the shade on it, it's like three foot tall. Two and a half, three foot tall. It's a big shade as well. Perfect condition. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. There it is with a big shade on. Anyway. There you go. £395. Now, if anybody's saying, well, why are you asking £395? If I do a Google search here, a simple vase, £280, £85 for a vase, £270 for a small vase. This is a big, usable lamp. There's no others. I've been through it. It's quite a rare pattern, to be quite honest with you. I think these, 285 285 285 are all the same seller. And then you've got these two here, 270 So how's that for a start? It goes to show you can find things at an antique centre. Um, and still make huge profits. So never be afraid to go and have a little dig around. At the same antique centre, what it was, I went to Cardiff for a day out. Uh, my mini had to go into uh, for recall, product recall. I got a relatively new min mini countryman and it um, it was called back by mini to have you know, something done in the exhaust or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, I had a day going around charity shops, going around antique centres and so forth. And I also purchased these. So we have a set of six Irish Waterford, not the import, Irish Waterford. Lismo pattern uh, hot glasses. Some people sell them as um, balloon wine balloons, but they're hot glasses. Uh, they do a wine balloon, but they're a different size glass. 
Anyway, they fully signed. I'm going to show you the photographs of them now, but I bought a set of six. So here's the uh, set of six Waterford Hawks in the Lismo pattern. Absolutely stunning things. Beautiful fasted stem. There's the pattern. And um, where's the signature? It'll be on here somewhere. There you go. So if anybody wants to know what a signature looks like, there you go. Uh, it's just etched Waterford and it's extremely hard to find, right? But not every glass may have it. So if you've got a set of six, one or two of them may have the signatures. So you've got to check every glass. But there you have it. 295 a mask in. I would think I would like to achieve about 250, um, something like that for the six. Um, but yeah, they paid, I paid £10. Now, take a look at some of these prices. If you come across here, this is the website I use to identify all my crystal patterns. And this is replacements.com forward slash crystal. Anyway, you can type any pattern in here and they got them all. Here you have the Hawks by Lismo or Lismo by Waterford. And they're £80 originally per glass. They're down, on offer down to 70 And they give you the dimensions, everything. So... But if you come here, you can go search absolutely anything. So if I was to Lismo Sherry Glass, there you go, £39 a glass left for a Sherry Glass. See? Um, I'll show you why that's relevant in just a moment. But then we'll come over here, a set of four sold for £175 there. That's a sold price, look, on eBay, sold price. And then you come over here, sold price £240 on eBay, sold. However, here's a tip for you. Look at the difference. If you get the blue overlaid, like I had in that crystal bowl the other day, £240 or £233 sold for a pair. So the blue overlay flashed stuff really sells for top, top money. I can't tell you how many times I've said get on the floor in the boxes of drinking glasses you could find some georgian glass you find some waterford glass you find some edinburgh drinking glasses are one of the biggest sellers within crystal and to buy a set of six of those for a tenner is absolutely fabulous and every one of them is perfect so i'm really really pleased with that but then there's a reason i showed you the sherry glasses from the same stall and the same seller i bought a set of six of these same pattern, Lismo, fully signed, £10 again, and these are the sherry glasses. Well, you just saw um, on eBay, on, uh, on the replacements, how much they'd sell a sherry glass for. £40 per stem. So here's the set of six sherry glasses I bought. Again, all in perfect condition. Lismo pattern, set of six again. Here we have it. Beautiful, look at that. And I should have captured the signature again. There you have it. There's the signature again. So, yeah, set of six, and I'm actually asking £125. But if you was to go off the replacements price of £40 glass, uh, six fours, 24, £240. So it's almost double what I'm asking if you was to buy them from a replacement company. Next thing I bought is quite weird. Um, is it a ring? Is it a napkin ring? I'm not sure. All right. I think it's a ring. Now, take a look at this. A crocodile. I'm going to show you the photographs of it now in just a second. Now, it's fully handmade. And somebody's soldered that on it. Now, it will go on as a ring. I got fat fingers, so... But yeah, it would fit on a lady's hand as a ring. And it was sold as a ring in the shop. Take a look at these photographs. So, here we go. Now, this isn't hallmarked anyway, but I have acid tested. Acid tested. it, Yeah. And it comes up as sterling silver. Beautiful quality thing. Uh, you can see there what I've tested on the hand, on the paw, front leg. Anyway, this cost me £8. This is what I'll give it away a little bit. Look, at, look how crude that soldering is. So you knew it was a handmade piece rather than a commercially made thing, uh, which was another indicator that made me think, oh, yes, it's silver. But as I said, I've acid tested it, and it is sterling silver. Now, I paid £8 for it. 
and it's up to £75. But find me another one because I've looked and looked and looked and looked. There, if it is a ring, it's size I. Um, I can't see it being a napkin ring because it's too thin and small for, you know, uh, napkins. So I think it's a ring. Lovely thing, really unusual. And let's say eight pound. And believe me, it's only going to keep getting better in today's video. If you like the items I'm sharing, then please pop across to antiquesarena.com and have a look. There's thousands and thousands of this type of stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So should we move on? Uh, next piece we'll have a look at is another piece of Waterford. Can you believe it? It's a Waterford day. And it's all the Irish Waterford. It's not the import. And look at that. We have a carousel horse. Gorgeous or what? Now it is fully signed. It's signed here. I haven't photographed this one yet and listed it. So you can see that sort of VVS or WS there and 97 and then down the bottom down there is the Waterford signature you can just see it with the seahorse horse anyway <coughs> pay two pounds two pound for that look at that it was a Waterford week I think it's just a cracking week look at that Waterford carousel horse 97 120 pound if it was boxed. I don't have the box and I don't have the wooden plinth, but 61 pounds 60 pounds 45 pound by there in the condition I got it without the plinth um, 56 75 there lah, in the exact same condition That one there was from America, so it's 45 plus 45 shipping so they paid 90 for that There's one there 75 <laughs> and then is as True to form with um, eBay, there's one for £12. <laughs> I ain't even going to open it up because it could be damaged. It could just be somebody who doesn't have a clue what they're selling or don't care about what they're selling. But I think I'm going to go at the line of this one here, which is £75 sold price, and that's what I'm going to put him up for. But for £2, and I'll believe me, I'll have a better photograph than that. Photographs of what sell your items. That's a nice one, and that's a nice one. I think I'll go with grey, looking at that. Bit of research there. I always look at other people's photographs and see what's working. So, yeah, uh, Waterford, 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 Moorcroft. <laughs> it was a cracking day. Shall we move on and have a look? I'd done a job lot parcel. Now, this was on a totally different day. I was at the car boot sale, and I walked up to a stall, and I asked the price of this, asked the price of that, it was like £4 for this, £2 for that. In the end, I said, well, how much for the four pieces? And I paid £10 for four pieces. So I'm going to share with you the four pieces. This is the first, which is a Kribska 1970s, I'd say ashtray. Lovely colours, look at the colours on that. And if this is going to be a piece by Joseph... Hobska, I can't pronounce it. Um, and if you go over to this site, I haven't photographed it, it's not listed yet. Um, so there's just a view and I'll show you how you identify this type of stuff. So we come over here to 20thCenturyGlass.com forward slash glass encyclopedia. So now we're going to jump to check because we know that is a piece of Kribska glass. Then you come down here, look, all the different glasses, got a Kribska, glass identification, and where are we? I think that might be it, is it? That looks like him. Um, oh, is it that one? It could be that one. It's that one or that one. It's one of those two. It's either that one or that one. Um, 1958. Kripska catalog. Yeah, it's one of those two. I would say, look at that one. No? Yeah, it'll be that one. Does it say a designer? Joseph. There it is. Joseph Hospodga. 
So there you go. Czechoslovakia, pattern number 242320 in the 1970s Kripska catalog. So that's all you do. You come across there, find the item, and you go from there. Now, I didn't just buy the Kripska glass off him. I bought the four pieces for a tenner. And I'm going to share with you the other pieces. Okay, next, I had a pair of something, which is these. Both in perfect condition, a pair. Beautiful ruby red glass with this clear trailing down the side, and they still have their original label on them. The label is the shape number, which is 9420. Now, I could go back to the site I just used um, and search through Whitefriars, or I can just come over here and go. nine four two zero and there we have it somebody there is asking 80 pound in australia 15 pound 30 pound 12 pound 25 pound there you go and i pay two pound fifty each i think it's safe bet to say i'm gonna get 35 pound for the pay 30 to 35 as a pay they're both in good condition so they're both in good condition and they both got their labels and their numbers on the base and they you know they're a nice pair of vases so i'll probably put 35 on them even might even go 40 and wait for an offer uh, but either way nice little things and bear in mind i'm still inside my 10 pound budget and here's my final piece for the 10 pound budget for the four items royal albert old country roses Photograph frame, picture frame. I don't actually see the Royal Albert mark on there. It's got the label on the back. There, Royal Albert label. I wonder if it's stamped inside. Let's have a look. Found it. Much like with everything else, the Moorcroft and all the rest of it, it was hide the marks. See it there? Inside the photograph frame. At the back there. So just because you can't see the mark doesn't mean it ain't real. Um, so yeah, Royal Albert, photograph frame. It's not fortunes. That's probably £15, give or take, something like that, 15 20 quid. But what did I get? I had a Kripska glass vase. A Royal Albert photograph frame and a pair of white fryers vases. If I can't get a hundred pound for the four pieces, there's something wrong, and they cost me a tenner. Okay, moving on. Same car boot sale. I purchased this, which is a really, really nice Toki Pottery Branham Way Charles Branham vase. Fully signed up. Branham CH Branham. Now. I've actually got some of this stuff but much much smaller versions this come in for two pound it's a seriously good name Branham is right up there one of the names you want to look for of the period so just run a quick search large Branham pottery vase there's one there I'm going to show you in just a moment and look at that there's the one I just mentioned I got on my website so if we come across here we have Charles Branham large vase 33 centimeters 80 pounds and mine is twenty five twenty five centimeters, so that's slightly bigger than mine, um, but beautiful nonetheless, in perfect condition. So that one's eighty pounds, and then you come across here to my this one here, which is only five inches, uh, which is thirty five pound. So even if I went somewhere in the middle and said, because mine's not as big as the last one. But much bigger than this one at around 55 60 pound for two pound outlay it is absolutely fabulous okay i think i'm gonna leave it there to be honest with you. i got some more but i think i'll make a second film of uh, what's left so what do you think what a haul do you have a favorite can you believe the price of that lamp or the waterfords all the waterfords absolutely amazing if you like my videos um i'd love it if you could put a, a like or a comment it really does help with the algorithm to help my channel get out there 
if you find value in the videos and you want to say thank you then believe me i would be so grateful if you could share the videos recommend someone to the channel or to the website um it all helps thank you very much for watching um the website's antiquesarena.com in case you forgot and i'll see you at the next one thank you and i'll see you soon